<sighs> so, you got your push, your brand new and shiny, well, this thing is collecting dust, so you have to now and then use this, and uh, now it's shiny. Okay, so you got it, and you open it, you made uh, that uh, unbox uh, video, you are anxious to play with it. I think it's wise to check first everything in this device, like you have to check all the buttons one by one, one by one, because you never know who assembly this. Maybe it was a guy that has a bad day, you know, maybe it was a robot and this time I found two problems already. If you play, if you play like this, and everything seems perfect, but it's not. You do not check properly because you have to check every single cell, every single part. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, sixty-four parts can be problem with just one of them. How do you check? So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight encoders. Okay, and also this volume knob and also this one. You have to check everything. So the first one, first problem that I already found is with encoders. I uh, put this device in this mode like where you see volume okay on each track there are several track eight track and on each one I make an animation with the volume because it's simple you arm the automation you have to record it automation for volume that's all arm this track and hit record play with the volume like this yeah. oh already already I saw some problem like if you look careful this is my button and when I play with it ah look I'm not moving anything I'm just and like this up and down up and down and then you stop it and you check the animation where and you go here and if you see something like this there is jump in animation you will know that encoder has a problem it's jumped and jump even though I did not move like that those jump happened like here I did not move like that <laughs> I did not move like that so that that is a problem 
So it's clear that this encoder has problem. Then you can arm another truck, the second one, and also do the same. How do you check the pads? Because there are a lot of sensor here. There might be one, only one, that is not good. A bad sensor, you know. Make a serum, a very basic one, not oscillator, not a simple one, where I check noise. I um, disable this and uh, it's just a noise. And put this on level. Take down the level and put up here. This LFO will trigger the volume. Simple. And it's the same noise on every single pad. Now, I want to I want to animate this rate on slide. I want to animate the the rate of the LFO with slide. How do you do that? You look here. On MIDI effects, you have MPE control. This is one of them. And also expression control. This one. Put it here. Okay? And you have in MPE control, you have slide. And you can check this because if I put finger here and slide, you will see the animation. See? Here. It's moving up and down, up and down. Okay, this is one thing. And also, let's see, in expression control, you can change this to slide. So this one is slide. This one can be slide also. And you will see, it will animate here also. Forget about after touch, because this is another thing. If I press harder, I will get after touch. But this is not important right now. I only need slide. So slide, everything is sliding. Okay? So I can check slide, but I want to hear it all also. So I can map this to rate of the LFO. So how do I do that? I will go here with this and this open. I push configure. Configure. Okay, and then I press a button that I want to animate, like this. And I press this, it will show here. Disable configure, and I can map this to slide. Like, I press here, and then here. Now, this slide Let's disable this. I'll maybe put this to mod wheel. Mod wheel. And also this to mod wheel. And I put this mod wheel 
like this. So, this slide is trigger the LFO which move this knob. And then, if I slide, the rate will increase. Minimum volume to be something like this, and I change this value, let's say 40, 40, and this maximum value to be not that much, like 70%. And now we've got this. So up and down, maximum, minimum value, okay? I'm going to do this sliding movement and also record it on every single path, 64 paths. And then I will check the animation and also feel it and you will hear it and see it in animation. Let's see. This first part has a problem. The range is shorter than every other path. Only this one, the first one. Minimum, maximum. record it also. So, first one, second one, up and down, and you should never assume that it's uh, good until you check it, and then you can play. You can play it all day, all day, with the device. Up and down, up and down, up and down, and slide and slide. But first, check it. 